করবো আমি কখন পাঠাবো আমি বলি কি একটা ইউরিনের রিপোর্ট কিন্তু সাংঘাতিক গুরুত্বপূর্ণ আমরা সবাই কিন্তু করাই চারটা জিনিস কিন্তু আমি অবশ্যই দেখব আমি সবার জন্য বলছি চারটা জিনিস অবশ্যই দেখব সবগুলো হয়তো দেখতে পারব না কিন্তু চারটা যেন আমার মিস না হয় নাম্বার ওয়ান হলো গ্লুকোজ তার রিডাকশনটা কিরকম নাম্বার টু হলো প্রোটিনটা কি লেখছে ওয়ান প্লাস টু প্লাস থ্রি প্লাস যদি আমি ট্রেস লিখে নো প্রবলেম ওয়ান প্লাস লিখে একটু মাথা কুচকাবো টু প্লাস লিখলে আমি ক্রিয়েটিন নর্মাল হোক আর অ্যাবনর্মাল হোক আমি অবশ্যই চেষ্টা করব একটা ইভালুয়েশনের জন্য যদি আমার পক্ষে সম্ভব না ইভালুয়েশনটা কি করব যে ইউনের টোটাল প্রোটিন অর অ্যালবুমিন ক্রিয়েটিন ইন রেশিও যদি অ্যালবুমিন ক্রিয়েটিন ইন রেশিও অ্যাবাভ রেঞ্জ হয় অবশ্যই আমি নেফ্রোলজিস্টের কাছে পাঠাবো কেন পাঠাবো দিস ইজ দ্য টাইম টু হল্ট দ্য প্রোগ্রেশন কিছু ওষুধ আছে যদি আমি ওই সময় দিতে পারি এই প্রোগ্রেসটা বা এই মেকানিজমটা এখানে স্টপ হয়ে যাবে এই রুগীটা কিন্তু ইএসআরটি তে যাওয়া স্টপ হয়ে যাবে তাহলে আমরা ইউরিন রিপোর্ট খুব ভালো করে দেখব ক্রিয়েটিন অত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ না কিন্তু ক্রিয়েটিন নর্মাল থেকে কিন্তু একটা রোগী সিকিউরিটি হতে পারে তাহলে ইউরিন রিপোর্ট খুব গুরুত্বপূর্ণ গ্লুকোজ অ্যালবোমিন আর হলো পার্সেল আর বিসি এখন আর বিসি আমি কেন দেখব কারণ আমার যে ক্রনিক ইন্টেস্টিসিয়াল কিডনি ডিজিজ আছে দিস ইজ ওয়ান অফ দ্য রিজন অফ ক্রনিক কিডনি ডিজিজ ক্রনিক ইন্টেস্টিসিয়াল কিডনি ডিজিজের একটা অংশই হলো এখানে সামান্য কিছু আর বিসি থাকবে একটা দুইটা হলেও থাকবে বা তিনটা চারটা সামান্য কিছু পার্সেল থাকবে অত বেশি পার্সেল থাকবে না তাহলে যদি আমি একটু প্রোটিন উরিয়া পাই একটু আর বিসি পাই একটু পার্সেল পাই আমি অবশ্যই অবশ্যই রেনাল রেফারেল করব আসসালামু আলাইকুম এন্ড গুড মর্নিং एवरीवन আই এম ডক্টর সাবিতা সহায়ব নেহা ইন্টার্ন ডক্টর অফ নেফ্রোলজি ডিপার্টমেন্ট টুডে 8 সেপ্টেম্বর উই উইল বি হোস্টিং आवर জার্নাল ক্লাব অন এ ক্রস সেকশনাল স্টাডি অন দ্য ইনসিডেন্স এন্ড সিভিয়ারিটি অফ হাইপোগ্লাইসেমিয়া ডিউরিং হিমোডায়ালাইসিস ইন এন্ড স্টেজ রেনাল ডিজিজেস ডায়াবেটিক এন্ড নন ডায়াবেটিক কেসেস at first we would, we would like to thanks our honorable director sir principal sir and vice principal sir respected professors mid level doctor colleagues and beloved intern doctors for their presence <coughs> at the beginning of this session we would like to request our honorable chairperson sir professor dr m karim khan director and professor of pediatrics and co chairperson dr nitai chandra roy sir assistant professor of department of nephrology to come forward and take their seats and proceed rest of the session and i would like to request to come to the stage uh, of our speaker dr mahmud javed hasan sir to come to the stage and thank you very good morning and me dr nitesh sharma on behalf of our department of nephrology welcome you all to our today's scientific session today we have our journal club presentation on a cross sectional study on incidence and severity of hypoglycemia in hemodialysis in esrd patient both diabetic and non diabetic patients on behalf of nephrology department i invite you all to today's scientific session i am very much happy very much thankful and very much grateful to our departmental head professor dr javed hasan parag to give me this opportunity to sit here as a co-chair of course i in the our today's chairperson professor dr m koren khan sir director of our institute 
as uh, sir just now has joined to us yeah. i like to invite our chairperson sir to conduct our rest of the session sir please bismillah assalamu alaikum thank you very much for having this such nice general club session by the department of the technology i'm huh? really begging apology for being late it was a night tragedy traffic jam i had to go the way anyways now i will request our speaker dr Javed to start his presentation. Javed is graduate from Manasi Medical College and subsequently did his M uh, MD in nephrology and he is with us for a long time and probably is the first nephrologist in CBMCB and he has organized his department along with Dr. Nitai. Now I am requesting Dr. Jafet to start his presentation please. It is a journal club presentation and the work has been done in CBMCB and later on it has been accepted uh, in a renowned journal and the work has been done by himself along with his colleagues. So obviously it will be an interesting one. We do hope that you will enjoy the session and subsequently of we will raise some questions and queries on the topics. Thank you very much. Please, Dr. Jamil. Thank you, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good morning. Uh, well, with the permission of the chairperson, I deliver my speech. Today's uh, Janaka presentation, the uh, title is the a cross section study on the incidence and severity of hypoglycemia during hemodialysis in intestinal disease, diabetic and non-diabetic case. And this journal uh, officially accepted publication in the International Journal in Advanced in Nephrology Research. It is a uh, peer reviewed journal and referred journal. And the Main author is uh, me, uh, Mahmoud Javed Hassan, as a professor and associated um, uh, uh, the Nitai Tondurai and also the Saiful Islam, both are nephrologists. So, introduction uh, the diabetes is the leading cause of anesthesial disease worldwide, accounting approximately 45% of dialysis patients and has been associated with worse survival than other etiology of ESRD. Hypoglycemia or low blood glucose occurs when the blood glucose drop below the 70 uh, mg per deciliter. Causes include the too little food or too much insulin or other diabetes medication or increase in the exercise or activity or combination of any of these factors. Uh, Decreased kidney function like the intestinal disease is also make person more prone to hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia during hemodialysis has been reported in chronic kidney disease patients since more than a decade ago and common in diabetic patient individual when dialysis is performed with a glucose free dialysis solution. The condition include the decreased gluconeogenesis in the remnant kidney there is metabolic pathway, inadequate nutrition, decreased insulin clearance, glucose loss to the dialysate and diffuse of glucose into the erythrocyte during the hemodialysis. This condition may aggravate to the hypoglycemia in the um, stress 5 patient during the dialysis session. The use of glucose added dialysate shows the significant reduction and even the absence of interdialectic hypoglycemia and nowadays is used to indicate the largely diffused. This is the last no, normal uh, the dialysis uh, uh, diagram. The patient when uh, needs a vascular access uh, uh, like arteriovenous fistula or central venous catheter and blood drawn from the body to the machine and uh, there is also the blood pump and if uh, the blood is not got uh, we have to use the heparin pump also and 
it all and, and it introduced into the dialyzer this is the dialyzer and um, there is also four port uh, two blood flow port and two uh, dialyzer port uh, the blood flow port the blood from higher concentration to lower concentration uh, there, there is a fiber just like uh, multiple fiber and in between the fiber there is a dialysis fluid passes and the counter can uh, exchange mechanism the higher concentration creatinine and blood uric acid and other waste product are uh, removed from the blood to the dialysis and purified uh, blood then again to the introduced to the patient and in this time the uh, the blood glucose also lost in the dialysis fluid and also if in, uh, we perform this dialysis in diabetic and non diabetic case sometimes show the especially diabetic patient the frequent hypoglycemia than non diabetic case definition of hypoglycemia the american diabetic association and international hypoglycemic study group define clinically significantly hypoglycemia as a blood glucose is less than 54 mg per deciliter or 3 mm per liter which is detected by individuals self monitoring blood glucose as well as by continuous glucose monitoring and glucose values of less than 54 mg per deciliter or for at least 20 minutes or laboratory measurement of plasma glucose which is sufficiently low to indicate the clinically significant hypoglycemia This is the classification of hypoglycemia in diabetic patient. Uh, three level: mild hypoglycemia, moderate hypoglycemia, and severe hypoglycemia. When there is a 70 milligram per deciliter or 3.9 millimol per liter, this is the level one hypoglycemia. Level two hypoglycemia is the uh, uh, 54 milligram per deciliter blood glucose or uh, 3 millimol per liter is less than. And level three, no specific glucose. threshold and high low high uh, mild hypoglycemia the sufficiently low for treatment with first and moderate hypoglycemia sufficiently low to indicate serious and clinically important hypoglycemia and severe hypoglycemia associated with severe cognitive impairment requiring extreme external assistance for recovery we know everyone the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia uh, sometimes the ckd ns in this patient also while the mild to uh, moderate hypoglycemia there is no symptom uh, we detect the uh, glucometer uh, to see the level of hypoglycemia but sometimes patient develop uh, blurring vision fast heart beat nervousness headache sleepiness sweating numbness and extra some features the mechanism of hemodialysis induced hypoglycemia and hemodialysis associated hypoglycemia in patient with diabetes and when the pre hemodialysis the patient first breakfast and the plasma glucose level higher and when the patient on dialysis the plasma glucose loss in the dialysate by diffusion into the erythrocytes and also the also the plasma insulin level decrease level uh, because the loss the plasma insulin in with the dialyzer the factors associated hypoglycemia in patient with psrd some factors like loss of dietary intake due to uremia we know the uremia in patient is toxic uh, sometimes anorexia uh, patient not able to take <coughs> sufficient food and also decrease renal gluconeogenesis because there is no tissue in the kidney tissue so there is only some remnant of kidney tissue while the low level of renal glucogenesis and decrease in insulin clearance by the kidney because of the low gfr and decrease metabolism and clearance of the drugs and also the glucose loss in the dialysis fluid during the hemodialysis session and diffusion of glucose in the into the erythrocytes and also hemodialysis induced hypoglycemia also occurs the global context type 2 diabetes matter is one of the leading cause of ckd and in the region this in developed and developing country 
and US, New Zealand, Japan, some Asian country type 2 account nearly 50% of the patient on incidence of dialysis. Over 50% patient develop at least one episode of hypoglycemia with 10% experience glucose value less than 40 mg per deciliter and 28% is less than 50 mg per deciliter. The multiple episodes of hypoglycemia are noted in 35% and type 1 diabetes at much higher rate of hypoglycemia than those with type 2 diabetes and anosternal disease. And these rates are much higher than the published inpatient rate in patient without ESRD and indicate the vulnerability of this population. Uh, our study whose objective is to compare the incidence and degree of hypoglycemia in patient with ESRD with or with the diabetes during the course of hemodialysis and the purpose to move the patient centered model in which the quality of patient care is increased and outcome elevated. Uh, some inclusion criteria like here the study population is 156 and under the regular hemodialysis and following criteria patient diagnosed with ESRD of any etiology is 15 years and above under the regular hemodialysis for at least 3 months both diabetic and non-diabetic patient and willing to participate and provide formal consent. Some exclusion criteria the patient with acute kidney injury and requiring some temporary dialysis this patient is excluded and patient with severe comorbidity condition like liver disease or active malignancy or other cardiac dysfunction. The patient unable to provide informed consent or reliable report symptom and pregnant woman and patient who had undergone the renal transplantation. The study period is the February 2023 to July 2023, six month uh, study period in the committee was married for us, the nephrology dialysis unit and who evaluated the frequency and seriousness of the hypoglycemia in patient ESRD on HD patient with or without history of diabetes. And also included, uh, the, the information included the age, gender, diabetes status, duration of ESRD, dialysis of duration and medical history obtained by reviewing uh, patient files and conducting interview. Self-monitoring blood glucose was performed at designated time point during HD and hypoglycemia definition was aligned with the uh, American Diabetes Association 2022. The result, uh, the 156 patient who were ESRD receiving routine hemodialysis, making the finding and uh, invaluable resource uh, estimating rate of hypoglycemia during dialysis session. The result are from table and it's providing every uh, vantage point for the weather data. Uh, this is the social unit variable. Uh, in the study analyzing the age distribution, it can be uh, identified of the patient. Majority of the patient is uh, is, is 46 to 60 years range and there is about 41 to 6, uh, 41 point, 67% uh, with the second most frequent is this 31 to 45 years and male female male person is 65.38% and female is 34.62% uh, around this is the column chart of the age distribution we show the 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 column, uh, the 40s age group is 46 to 60 years. There is a 41.6 percent patient, and this is the gender variation: uh, male 65 percent, female is 35 percent. And distribution of the diabetes among the patient is uh, total diabetic patient is uh, 32. It is percent 20 percent, and non-diabetic is 124, is 79 percent. Distribution of hypoglycemia level, these results such as the diabetic ESRD patient receiving hemodialysis at the higher risk of moderate to severe hypoglycemia and more than 90% of all patients experience a level 2 and level 3 event. Level 2 is uh, 46% and level 3 is 43%. This is the serious uh, complication during dialysis. And distribution of the hypoglycemic level among the non-diabetic patient, uh, there is a level 1 and level 2. So, both slides show that, that in diabetic patient, 
level 3 or severe hypoglycemic attack in diabetic patient than non diabetic patient. This is the line chart show the diabetic of ESRD and non diabetic ESRD. Uh, there is a, a non diabetic is the blue color and golden color is the non diabetic. Show the line chart show the above level more than 40 percent. So, finding in our study is uh, hypoglycemia occur in 100 percent of the diabetic patient and 38 percent of non diabetic patient. And among the diabetes, 46 experienced the level 2 and 43 level 3 hypoglycemia. And non diabetic patient, 24 percent had level 2 and 6.45 percent level 3 hypoglycemia. So, the frequently level 3 hypoglycemia is more in the diabetic patient. And overall, all patients experience hypoglycemia with diabetes as significantly higher risk for severe episode in diabetic patient. So, the conclusion and recommendation, the rate of severe hypoglycemia was high in ESRD patient with diabetes and in term of risk, it had been established that the patient with diabetes are at significantly high risk of experience severe episode as compared to the non-diabetic patient. And more attention to need the monitoring of the glucose and use of anti-diabetic medication in ESRD patient, especially for those at risk patient. So, in the diabetic patient, when patient develop undergo the dialysis, uh, in, in, in this time, the patient, because of the more frequent hypoglycemic attack, so diabetic management uh, must uh, more uh, ensure to, uh, to avoid the hypoglycemia. Uh, so, we have to use the, uh, especially the uh, uh, short duration of insulin and avoid oral, hypo, oral hypoglycemic drugs as well as and when the patient come to the dialysis regularly, uh, on that time we have to avoid the insulin uh, medication. Uh, we suggest to come to the dialysis unit then uh, during the dialysis period we monitor the blood glucose level and we prescribe the insulin dose level. Thank you.